everybody, this is Alexandre from Angel Cotomancy and it's my pleasure to welcome you on this week a Le Normand Oracle Cot Reading. So I would just wanted to share this uh, little quote before we, um, before we get into the weekly reading. And it's a quote by Rumi that I've used to uh, illustrate uh, my book, The Art of Le Normand Reading. And the quote is, think less, feel more. And this will be, you know, a quote for the combination of the cross and the heart. And um, this is how it is in the book. And yeah, let's be just uh, show you that as well. For each card, you will have uh, the title, the keyword. There is the description of the of the card. And also, I pay really attention to distance in reading the Grand Tableau because Le Normand is based upon distance, you know. The nearer a card to the significator, the more impact and significance it has in the reading. For instance, if you have the cross, like, like I say, the closer the cross to the significator in a spread, the heavier the burden. The cross image is associated with the crucifixion. Some people see the cross as the representation of organized and institutional religion. I tend to see the cross as the card of karma. What is sent out comes back to you multiplied. And for one card, you have like a message for the card, like an, an affirmation. It's ask for help. There is a body part, there is timing, there is the influence, there is the nuance of the card, the archangel associated to this uh, this card, the planet, the zodiac sign, the love aspect for a single person, the love aspect for someone in a relationship, the health, the money aspect, the work, and also the special power. Each card has a special power in the deck and the power of the cross is it has the power to make things painful and hard you know even if you have a beautiful reading and the cross ends the reading you know that things are going to be hard for you so just wanted to share a little bit uh, about the book okay so uh, I'm using my newest deck it's the companion deck for the book the Alexandre Musruk Le Normand and I'm going to shuffle the cards for you and make free piles like I did last week and many people had um, emailed me and tell me that they really like the this type of reading where you can choose because it really gives um, a choice and a, a more personalized message so as I'm shuffling think of a question and I will do the piles to just pick one of the one of the three piles, just one, not two, one pile. And if you have also um, a closed question for a yes or no, you can think about this question in your heart or in your head, and I will reply to it. So I'm taking a minute just to shuffle and focus myself.
So I pull the cards, you know, at random, and I trust my my gut and my I trust my instinct and my intuition because it's never, you know, you you're never wrong when you trust your your intuitive uh, abilities. So these are the three piles. I'm going to interpret each one for the week. Let's start with pile number one. And we have the mountain, the man, and we have the letter. Okay, so this week we are going to talk about uh, someone significant in your life. It can be a partner, it can be a husband if you are a woman, and it can be the oh, same if you are a man as well. And this combination of cards tell me that um, there is some kind of blockage in this relationship with the man. There is a lack of communication. It seems like when you uh, want to know about him, he just, you know, uh, close himself like a clamp. So this week is to communicate more, okay? To overcome your fear, to overcome um, being alone, okay? If you're looking for love this week, you need to show up more, okay? Because the 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 mountain here is to overcome you know your fear and the letter is to open yourself we need to open the envelope to break the seal for us to be able to read the message and understand the content of the letter so um it's a week also of self-discovery uh, you're going to learn more about yourself more about um a certain situation and if you had a, um, a close question, yes or no, the answer is no, due to the mountain. The mountain blocks, you know, things. And the other card on neutral card, there is no uh, positive cards coming up uh, after that, okay? So anyway, it's not a dark reading. It's a reading to uplift you and to give you something to think about and also to to meditate on so more communication overcome your fear and face your fear you know in the eye okay so if you had choose pile number two okay so we have three cards which are very interesting it's the the fox the anchor and the moon okay the moon in, in some french tradition is believed to be one of the work card. And in Germany, the anchor is the work card. And in France, the official, I will say, due to the nine of clubs, a card, this is the fox, and it is the main work card. So this week is all about work, working hard, putting things, uh, you know, um, putting things up, uh, realization of certain wish and dream, uh, you're going to uh, attract, you know, uh, like people to you, popularity, your work will be seen and considered. So, and it's also a week of being very psychic, of feeling things in your gut due to the anchor. The anchor is very deep down. It, it is gut feelings. So trust your gut feelings th this week. Open up your uh, intuitive channel. And uh, if you're going to work, hard this week these will be crowned with success okay and the success is going to spread beyond your expectation okay so if this card uh, if this reading sorry is about a yes or no answer the answer is yes due to the anchor which is positive and to the moon which is another positive when you have one of the astral cards which is uh, the sun the moon the stars you are very lucky you are protected there is you know some kind of uh, of good energy watching over you and yeah so it's a week really to enjoy uh, reaping the fruit of your labor so moving to the third okay so this week there will be um, confusion and uh, some kind of you know argument which is going to fade away. Okay, you are going to clear some uh, let's see some you know old conversation or old fights. 
I'm speaking about friendship, I'm speaking also about relationship because the dog can be also a partner, okay? So uh, there is someone who will apologize for being so rude and so incomprehensive, okay? And uh, you will think, should I forgive him? Should I, you know, let him come back? So you need to think about it. If the question was a yes or no, the answer is no. It's a no. And with the dog, of course, there is always hope to turn things into your advantage because the dog is, is a shield, it's a protection. And yeah, so uh, think about it before giving anyone a chance. Let them prove themselves that they are trustworthy, that they are good, okay? And then you can let them come in, okay? So if you want to have the deck and the book, the, they are sold separately. Uh, these are the products that are published by Schiffer Publishing, the Red Fever Body and Mind Spirit a section of Schiffer. And you can order them, pre order them from Amazon, Barnes and Nobles, and you know, all these great sites for buying books. They are everywhere. They are coming this spring. So you want to have your coffee copy before it goes you know out of stock and wait for a whole month or so to get yours so go and you know pre-order it now so it you can get it you know the um, the earliest possible okay so have a blessed week and look forward to talk to you next week and uh, enjoy bye